Hello, I'm Harriet Seeger, and with me today I have Dr. Alphonse Vincent, who's going to be talking at Top 10 in Cardiology in Lausanne on the 2nd of October. Welcome, Dr. Vincent. Thank you very much. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, now, your talk's going to be new device technologies on the horizon, and you're, you're talking on behalf of Medtronic. Perhaps you could give us a little bit of insight into what you're going to be talking about. Yeah, so I will be talking about a few of the new technologies that Medtronic has and uh, how they will develop in the future. Uh, the first technology I will address is the Micra transcatheter pacing system. Uh, that's basically a pacemaker that's about one-tenth of a normal pacemaker. And uh, instead of uh, being implanted via the uh, shoulder, it's being implanted via a femoral approach using a catheter. And it's not implanted under the skin, but it's totally implanted within the heart. So we have implanted already a couple of hundred of those uh, worldwide. Uh, the study is going very well and has been recently reported. Um, and basically, that is a first step for us to move into the area of transcatheter pacing system. So the next step is uh, probably going to be something like VDD, and after that it will become dual chamber, uh, even moving towards uh, uh, CRT. So uh, we're moving that technology forward uh, in the near uh, future. A second thing that uh, I will uh, address is the, uh, the LINK, the implantable cardiac monitor, which is a small device that is uh, implanted under the skin. It's a very small device that, um, that basically can do a lot of things. It can monitor the heart, but uh, there are a few technologies in there that, can, uh, that are not activated yet, but will be activated in the future after we have done some studies with it. So one of the technologies that is included in there is aimed to uh, prevent uh, hospitalizations for heart failure. Uh, so basically it can identify if a patient uh, gets uh, uh, decompensated before the patient notices himself. Uh, so we can avoid uh, with that uh, hospitalizations for heart failure. See. Now some other technologies I will address are the um, <coughs> transcatheter uh, valve replacements, uh, both aortic and uh, mitral. Aortic is on the market. We have uh, recently uh, improved the device to make it more easy to use, recapturable, and uh, also uh, yeah, <coughs> uh, resulting in uh, getting less complications for the patient. And in the future, also, uh, the mitral version will become available. So uh, also that doesn't need to be done anymore by uh, surgery, but it can be done via a femoral approach. Now, some of the other technologies I will address are um, <coughs> technologies for atrial fibrillation ablation. Uh, as you know, that is a procedure that's done very often in Europe. And um, we want to get uh, consistent results that are um, quickly achieved uh, with a very uh, good uh, outcome, and that is what we can achieve with our balloon technology, with the cryo balloon. So also there, we'll focus on some uh, newer developments. And uh, last but not least, uh, I think it's very important that you get uh, consistent procedures. So therefore, also in the renal denervation area, we have uh, recently done a study that was unfortunately not uh, not so positive. We could not uh, show a big benefit. Uh, however, we also identified in that study that uh, the procedure was not always done as it should have been done. Um, therefore, we uh, developed a technology that makes it easier for the physician to get a consistent uh, therapy and hopefully also a better outcome uh, for the patients. That's super. So um, not only is it benefiting the patients, it's benefiting the physician. Um, but what about training? Um, will that be um, easy to do? Yeah, so training is a very uh, critical thing for Medtronic, and we are actually investing a lot in training. So if, uh, if you just think about the first technology, the Micra, uh, we have an extensive training program in place. Uh, first, the, uh, the, the physicians go through an intensive uh, e-learning program. So they have e-learning modules that they need to follow before they go to the, uh, to the animal and cadaver lab where they uh, can implant the device uh, both in uh, animals, cadavers, and also in a simulator. That is, uh, the training is given by experienced faculty uh, and there are also a lot of uh, discussions, case report discussions, but also interactions with the faculty. And after that, they, uh, they get, uh, before they do the first procedure, they get an in-house training by uh, some Medtronic experts and if necessary, also the, the, the first implant is supported by a proctor. So training is very critical for us because we're not so much interested in just selling it a device, but it's really the outcome of the patient that uh, is of importance to us. That's super, so it sounds pretty comprehensive. So um, on the 2nd of October, you're, you're first up, aren't you, speaking at the meeting? Is that right? Um, yeah. Indeed, I'm the first speaker, and it was okay. the same uh, last year and the year before. Oh, okay, you're obviously the best one to listen to. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's great well thank you so much for joining us today and um if anyone else wants to to know more about the meeting we have more videos in this series and um, professor martin Frome will be talking about the meeting as well so in the meantime thanks very much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you hopefully on the 2nd of october thanks so much okay thank you Bye bye